Hey, here we go. So what is factoring? And I think this gets a lot of students you know, confused and they may have even heard from other students, oh, factoring, I hate factoring, it's so much time and so forth. And it's so hard and you, know, you always think about, well, the reason why is a lot of factoring, it's such an essential step in mathematics that you know, we use it through a lot, of our, a lot of the courses and we also expect that through time, that you, you know, through practice and through time of working with factoring, that you're able to be able to do most of your factoring mentally in your head. But we know that's not the case with every student. And some students need a lot more practice than other students. So let me just kind of give you the basics so you know exactly what to expect. When I'm saying, I'm saying, oh, you need to factor this. Or now, I'm going to be factoring. You'll kind of know exactly what my mindset is, what I'm thinking as. Sometimes I'm going to break down the factoring very step by step. But other times, I'm going to do it in my head. And I'll talk my way through it. But it might be a little bit quicker than others. So, if I was going to look into factoring, what basically factoring is, is taking an expression, you know, it could be a number, um, it could be a polynomial, and taking that expression and rewriting it as a product. All right, so if I was going to look into five and I say, well, I want to rewrite that, um, you know, factor that, what I'm essentially saying is I want to rewrite this as a product. Well, five, we know can be written as five times one. And basically to our, our factors when we're looking into factoring, even though there's a, there's a lot of different ways to write this as a product, I'm going to be rewriting it as uh, numbers that are going to d evenly divide into 5. I could also say that 5 equals negative 5 times negative 1. Right? So that's two different ways for me to rewrite it as a product. And I'll explain you know, the product, why we're going to get into that in a little bit, but it's not really the focus of this uh, video. So that's for factoring like a number, right? Take about, think of the factors. And you've probably seen, you know, how do you factor a number? You break down factor trees um, you might be familiar with. And that's exactly what we're looking into doing is rewriting as our factors. Then what we start doing is we start adding in some, you know, some variables, right? And if I look into you know, factoring a 5x, you could, you know, there's a lot of different ways you know, to break that up as you know, 5 times you know, x and so forth. And you know, even breaking down 5x squared, we could say, well, that's 5 times x times you know, x. I can rewrite that as a product. But where this kind of gets a little bit touchy with some students is once we start getting into some binomials and trinomials. And that's where it starts getting a little bit, uh, what exactly am I doing? I think most students get when we have a monomial and, and, and represented or, or just also as a number. But once we start getting into uh, expressions with multiple monomials, it gets a little bit more difficult. So let's just, I'm going to work through just kind of two examples, kind of break it down for you. And then uh, hopefully that'll give you at least a little bit of leverage as we get into some more concrete examples. So let's work into 5x squared plus 15x. All right. So in between, when we're looking up here, you know, we want to rewrite this as a product, right? And I think with the, with the monomials that we have here, that might be some basic understanding. When I'm looking at an expression, and it's a sum of monomials, what I want to do is say, all right, I want to break this up as a product. But I don't want to just want to break this up as any product. I want to break this up as a product that these two monomials are going to share sometimes, as we say. So if I look at 5x squared, I could break that up right, into 15x. I could actually factor both of those. And that's exactly what I'm going to do in this case. I'll write this as 5 times x times x. And this I'll write as 5 times 3 times x. All right? And by factoring each one of these monomials, and you don't have to do this every time, but when you're getting started, that's really helpful. By breaking these up, you can see that they share a 5. Right? Both of these um, terms share a 5. And they also share an x. So by the term of factoring, one of the things, this would be factoring what we call out the GCF, the greatest common factor. And since both of these expressions share a 5 and an x, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide out a, five, a five 5x. Remember, I can rewrite, um, let's see here. Uh, let's not do that one. Let's do 12 divided by 4. I can rewrite 12 divided by 4. Right? We know that 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. I can rewrite that as the same thing as 3 times 4 equals 12. Right? So if I take this expression, if I divide each of these by 5x, right? the 5's and the x's divide out to 1. And therefore, I'm left with just 3x. All right? But if I want to rewrite this as a product, I could say, oh, I'm sorry. That's not 3 plus 3x. That is x plus 3. 
But if I want to rewrite my quotient as a product, I've got to rewrite it as what I divide it out by. So it would be x plus 3 times 5x. So that is how I factor out using our GCF method. And you can always check your work by applying, again, the distributive property. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times 3 is 15x. So that's really the basics of um, factoring. And we're going to get into a lot more complicated factoring, uh, you know, factoring by grouping and factoring trinomials when a is greater and less than 1. But I'll just go through, I'll just go through one more basic here uh, that you have just to kind of give you an idea. And again, let's say I have you know, x squared plus uh, 7x plus 10. All right. Now this one gets a little bit more difficult because you can see that, you know what, they don't share anything in common as far as the x's. Like they don't, all three of these terms don't share an x. All three of the terms don't share um, a 7 or any of the factors of 10. So therefore, I can't factor out a GCF. So a lot of times, this is what we have in a trinomial. When we have a trinomial that doesn't have all the common factors, we look in different factoring techniques. And one of the ways that I talk about in, our, um, in my course for factoring when a equals 1, and I do this for a equals 1 when a is great, not equal to 1, um, factoring difference of two squares, perfect squares, uh, by grouping. But one of the things that one of the quick tips to go through just to isolate this one problem is what we want to do is find the number, find the factors that multiply to give us 10, but then add to give us 7. And so I look at this and I say, well, the factors of 10 uh, could be 10 and 1, negative 10 and negative 1, and 5 and 2. But 5 and 2 and negative 5 and negative 2. But I notice the only two factors that are going to give them that are going to be positive 5 and positive 2. Therefore, I can rewrite this. I can rewrite this expression as a product of x plus 5 and x plus 2. And you might say, well, how, you know, how do you get with that? You know, this is just a little nice little trick. But you can see, why does it work? Why, why does that work that you can just do it? Well, remember, check your answer with distributive property. And a lot of times when we have a binomial times a binomial, you know, we call that FOIL or anything. But really, it's just a nice fancy way of saying applying the distributive property. And if I multiply this out, x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 2 is 10. Combine my middle terms, x squared plus 7x plus 10. So you can see by applying this factoring technique, and I'm going to teach you a lot more other factoring techniques, but applying this one, we can learn to take this expression and rewrite it as a product. And that's exactly what we're trying to achieve with factoring. So there you go. Hope it helped. Thanks.